I'm gonna talk about a calculator game that I just finished making. Actually, I just made it, so I might make further changes to it in the future. But for now, this program is actually really huge, because um, the program uses 448 bytes, and the entire calculator can only hold up to 6 180 bytes, so that's actually a really huge program. But I might even make further changes to make this program even bigger, but that's how big it is for now. So let's demonstrate how this game is played. So that's the title screen Love Letter. Um, it's based off of the card game Love Letter. So clear memory tells you, well, it's a new game. So this is the score, so uh, this is a three-player setting, this uh, first number is my score, 0, uh, then player B or player 2 score, 0, and player C or player 3 score, 0, yep, this is a, yeah. So uh, the, uh, the one who starts the round is randomly decided, so it says player C is up, so player C or player 3 takes the first turn this round. So now there are nine cards in the deck remaining, or just nine cards remaining, whatever. So I need to choose a card uh, from zero to nine. That will be the card in my hand. I will choose nine. So it is C's turn. Yeah, so, so C asks, hey, player one or player A, that's me. Do you have a three? And since I chose nine, no, I don't. So now player A is up. It is my turn. Um, there are now eight cards remaining, so I will target either player two or player three. So I ask him, hey, player B or player two, do you have, since there are only eight cards remaining, I need to choose a number between zero and eight, an integer. So player B, do you have a number four? And player B actually had an eight, so I got wrong. So now player B is up. Uh, seven cards remaining, I need to choose one card, I choose six. So player B asks player 1, do you have a 4? I don't. So player C is up, and this actually continues until either two players have been knocked out, in which case the remaining player uh, wins, or until um, there are actually zero cards remaining, in which case uh, the player whose turn it is wins, because that means um, the previous player would have guessed a 0 or 1, and they guessed it wrong, which is how you would get 0 cards remaining. So player C is up, um, 6 cards remaining, I need to choose 1, so I choose 6. It asks um, player 1, do you have a 3? I don't, so now I'm up. Um, so um, yeah, 5 cards remaining, I uh, ask uh, player 3, um, do you have a 3? It had a 5. Okay, player B is up. So 4 cards remaining, I need to choose a card. Um, 4. Um, it asks player 3, that's C. Do you have a 2? No, nothing happened. Okay, player C is up. Um, 3 cards remaining. Um, I need to choose a card, I choose 3. So it asks player 2, do you have a 0? Well, nothing happened. Okay, so that means a no, I'm up again. 2 cards remaining, well. Well, actually more like three cards, because that's zero to two. Um, I ask a player three, do you have a one? Ah, that's a one. So now player C is knocked out. So player B is up. Um, one. So that's zero and one. So um, I need to choose a card. Um, one. So it asks player one, do you have a 1? I indeed have a 1, so I'm knocked out. So that was the first round. So 0, 1, 0. That means player 2 or player B got 1 point. So that's basically how this game is played. It's, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this. See you.